got a tremendous football game ahead of us here today. When you talk to Colorado people, they say that this is their bowl game. Why? Because if they lose to the Huskers today, they do not figure into the bowl picture at all, even at six and five. That's the word from Colorado. So the Buffaloes are playing for a lot today. The Huskers are playing for a heck of a lot in this game this afternoon. So it will be Colorado kicking off to Nebraska. As this sellout crowd settles in, we've got a magnificent setting here today. Beautiful day it is, Warren. As uh, conditions here, very, very sunny. The sun has peaked out from behind the clouds. Temperature in the 60s, winds out of the west at 15 to 30 miles an hour. And listen to this Colorado crowd. The stadium is full, the first sellout crowd this year here in Boulder, 51,655 and then some. But we see a lot of red shirts down below us to the left in the end zone and far across uh, in the end zone to our left as Colorado will kick it away, Warren. As we look at the field, they'll be kicking uh, right to left as we look at this football field. Jeremy Aldridge is ready to kick it away for Colorado. Back on the goal line for the Huskers. It's Joe Walker and Randy Stella. And this one just about ready to get underway. Jeremy Aldridge approaches the football and here we go and it's an onside boot and it's bobbled by Colorado at midfield they flock to the ball as a big pileup at midfield the Huskers say they got it we've also got a penalty flag well the ball was touched before it went 10 so it, it'll go to Nebraska now they're conferring right now but I believe that football was touched before it went to 10 yards it's got to go 10 yards before the kicking team can touch it and I don't think it did. It was a little bit of a, a well, a shank kick. A little chip up there. Disregard the flag. No foul. The ball hit the ground. No fair catch interference. First down. Oh, OK. Nebraska. So Nebraska starts this game with great field position at midfield. How about that? Dan Alexander will start the game at I back for the Huskers. As Eric Crouch has the Husker offense out on the field. Sean Applegate goes wide to the right along with Matt Davison. Alexander is alone, set back. Two tight ends in the game. On the left side, Tracy Wistrom. On the right, Aaron Galladay. In motion to the right side goes Wistrom. Here's Crouch pitching the ball to Dan Alexander. Speak to the right side of the 50. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Still on his feet to the 10. Oh, yeah, to go, the five. Go. He's yeah. in! <laughs> What a way to start the football game. Shades of Calvin Jones years ago in the very first play. He took it down the far sideline and now Danny Alexander. Colorado defense crashing down on Eric Crouch and Danny Alexander comes up big here. Tremendous blocks downfield. 50 yard touchdown run on the first play of the game. In to try the point after is Josh Brown. The snap, the ball is down, the kick is on the way, and it is good! We've got a timeout with the score. Huskers 7, Colorado nothing. Kelly standing back at about the two-yard line. Aiden Feld kicking left to right, and here is Dan's boot. And here's the kick. End over end, goes over to the near side, and it's taken by two Buffaloes. Finally, one of them gets it. That's Hollowell out across the 25. Penalty flag falls as he is forced out at the 28-yard line of Colorado. On the Holding play. on the return. Offense, 10 yards, spot foul, first down. The Buffaloes, they break out of the field. They'll stack the backfield in a single setback. And that running back is Cortland Johnson. They go three wide to the right side. The handoff to Johnson. Tries the oh, middle. Yeah. Oh, he's stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And in there, tough was Steve Warren to just flatten him. Steve Warren, All-America candidate. He's playing perhaps his best football of his Husker career right now. He's had 11 tackles for losses this year. Thus far, make it 12 right now as that play loses a yard. Make it second down and about 11 to go. Flanking wide to the right is Roman Hollowell, also splitting wide to the right. That is John Minardi. The backfield is in the off eye, set to the right side. Hollowell goes in motion to the left, now goes back in motion to the right. Here's Machete rolling to the right side. He has the football, he keeps it. He's brought down at the 17-yard line by weak side linebacker Julius Jackson, a gain of about three on the carry. Third down and nine to go for Colorado. They go with twin receivers to the left side. They have the single setback, Portland Johnson. A man in motion to the left side is one of the tight ends. Machete being pressured, dumps a pass off. Yeah. It's almost intercepted.
intercepted at the nine yard line by one of the Huskers. We thought he was going to be able to haul that one in and almost getting it was Lauren Kaiser, I do believe. Tremendous pressure by Julius Jackson and Aaron Wills on the play. And that's what caused Machete to deliver the ball prematurely as the Huskers were coming. Jackson on the blitz and Wills from his defensive end spot. And now the, and the bus will kick it away. Huskers hope to get it somewhere near midfield again. Joe Walker standing back in the 40 yard line of the Huskers. Colorado gets set to punt the football away. Here's the snap, here's the kick by Nick Peach. High wobbly kick. Walker at the 40 and is stopped in his tracks right at the 40 or the 39 yard line. Matt Davidson goes wide to the left side for the Huskers. Wilson Thomas is set to the right. The backfield in the eye with Willie Miller and Dan Alexander. Eric Crouch is changing the play. Bobby Newcomb now is sent in motion to the left side. He was on the wing to the right. And here is an inside handoff to Willie Miller, the fullback. He carries out to the 43 yard line. And two or three Colorado Buffaloes were in there to make the stop on him. So the Huskers now go with twin wideouts to the right side in Sean Applegate and Tracy Westrom. The backfield is stacked in the eye. Newcomb is at the eye back. Alexander the fullback. Newcomb in motion to the left. Quarterback draw by Eric Crouchy to the 50. Crouch to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, to the 30. And he's finally out of bounds inside the 25 at the 22-yard line. And a late arriving penalty bag flag across the way. Michael Lewis finally got him out of bounds. Head ball. That's just a cheap First foul. Personal foul. Colorado. So the ball is down at the 12-yard line of Colorado. It's first down and 10 to go for the Huskers. Newcomb goes wide to the right. Matt Davison is set to the left side. The backfield is in the off eye, strong to the left side. Here's Crouch handing the ball off to Alexander. He's to the five and fights his way down to the two yard line. And that should be enough for the first and goal. Right cornerback Damon Wheeler over there to bring him down for Colorado. The officials now are gonna look things over and they say it is a first down and goal to go for the Huskers at the two-yard line of Colorado. Nothing fancy, just Adam Jones and James Sherman taking black shirts out of the way. Two tight ends in the game, T.J. DeBates and Aaron Galladay. Backfield is in the eye. Davison split to the right. The handoff to Alexander, and he's in for the touchdown! And ladies and gentlemen, he went right over number seven, Jayshon Sykes, their top tackler. You cannot stop a runaway freight train like Danny Alexander at Guys, my heart's feeling great because Dan Alexander hanging on to the football. And again, great to see that happen to that great young man. He's an outstanding player and an even better young man. He's, he's the kind of guy you just want to run around you all the time. Danny Alexander steps it up, and the Huskers are about ready to go up 14 and nothing. Josh Brown will be in to try the point after the snap. The ball is down. The kick is on the way, and it is good. Hayden Feld kicking left to right to Colorado. Kelly down at the five-yard line of the Buffaloes, and here's the kick by Dan. He boots it off to the right side. Kelly shifts over to the near side, takes it to 10, to the 15, to the 20, near sideline 25, and Ben Kelly is forced out at the 27-yard line of Colorado. First down, Colorado. We have 11.49 remaining in this first quarter, and it's the Huskers 14 and the Buffaloes nothing. Colorado's offense now checks into the game. Marcus Stiggers is going to go wide to the right. Split the other way. That's Javon Green. They go to the shotgun. Inside handoff to Cortland Johnson. Fights his way out close to the 30-yard line. Eric Johnson in on the tackle that time, Orny. He saw a lane right there that opened right up in front. He took that lane and was able to bring Cortland Johnson down. The thing you want to remember about Marcus Stiggers, this guy is out on the flank. He's one-on-one -on -one with the defensive back out there. And Marcus Stiggers has been officially timed in 4.17 seconds in a 40-yard dash. And believe me, that's a streak. Three wideouts for the Buffs, two set to the left side. Second down and six to go. Here's Machete rifling a pass and a catch by Javon Green. And he is out of bounds at the 41-yard line of Colorado. And that's good for the first down. Javon Green, their leading receiver here this year as far as receptions go. Last year against Nebraska, five catches for 72 yards. That was just a quick out to the right side. And Keo Craver was over there to make the stop immediately, but he picked up the first half. Flanking wide to the left side is Roman Hollowell. Set the other way. That is Cedric Cormier. The backfield is in the eye, first and 10. And the handoff to the big fullback, David Andrews. And he barrels his way 
out to the 45-yard line. A gain of four yards on the play. And it was Lauren Kaiser over there to make the stop for the Black Shirts. Buffalo spread things out. Three wideouts, two to the left. Machete, a two-step drop. Fires a pass to the near sideline and an incomplete pass. The receiver, that was Javon Green, tried to make a sensational catch but couldn't quite get it done. Javon Green will go wide to the right. Twin wideouts are set to the left side. Now they're going to go three wide to the left. They run the screen pass out of this set a lot of times. In motion to the right side is Hollowell. Mike Machete rolls to the right side. Being chased, pressured, and just threw it away. Again, good pressure by the Huskers. Carlos Polk was really bearing down on him. Carlos had the nose flaring at that time. He was coming about 90 miles an hour right up the gut. And Machete had no choice but to get rid of the football or take a big loss. And that's what caused the incompletion. And that's what, that's what will cause now the Buffaloes to kick it away again. Nick Peach goes back to punt for Colorado, standing at the 29-yard line. Joe Walker back in single safety for the Huskers, back at the Nebraska 10. Peach will have the wind at his back. Here's the snap to him, and here is the kick. End over end, Joe Walker lets it bounce, lets it roll inside the 20, and it's going to be touchdown at about the 17-yard line or 18-yard line. Still in the eye with Matt Davidson set wide to the left, and Eric Crouch is changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He takes the snap, hands it off to Willie Miller, a big hole, and Willie carries out to the 25-yard line. That is a six-yard gain. Second down and four to go. The Huskers go to the three-back eye. The middle back, Applegate, goes in motion to the left. Here is a pitch to Dan Alexander, and oh, he's in trouble. And he is hit for a loss back at the 22-yard line. Colorado was tough. Defensive end Brady McConnell, the outside backer Fred Jones over there to make a good defensive play. Third down and seven to go for the Huskers. They go with double wide outs to the right of Matt Davidson and Bobby Newcomb. Backfield on the off eye to the right. Eric Crouch rolls to the right, pumps once, now sends a pass to Davidson. He's got it across the 40. Matt Davidson is pulled out of bounds at the 45-yard line of the Huskers. Left cornerback Ben Kelly got him out of bounds. Matt Davidson running the seam between the zone coverage right there. Ben Kelly deep outside half, and uh, Davidson finds that seam. And then Eric Crouch threads the needle and puts it right into the midst of Matt Davison. And he not only gets the first down, but he gets the football up to near midfield. Matt Davison, first team academic all Big 12 uh, this year. Also goes with last year. So great job in the classroom by that youngster from Tecumseh, Nebraska. Huskers go to the I formation. Wide outs both ways. First down and 10 to go. Eric Crouch the snap. Hands it straight ahead to Willie Miller. And Miller cracks out to the 47-yard line. Got two yards on the play. Wilson Thomas goes wide to the left along with Bobby Newcomb. Single setback behind quarterback Eric Crouch. And that's going to be Dan Alexander. They have two tight ends in the game. Davison goes in motion to the left. Eric Crouch back. A little jailbreak screen goes through his hands. Intended for Newcomb. Incomplete. Davison wide to the left along with Bobby Newcomb. It's third and eight from the 47-yard line. The backfield is in the eye. Here's Crouch. Roll to the left side. Now sets up to throw. Down the field with a pass and incomplete intended for Newcomb. And Damon Wheeler was battling him all the way for the ball. Dan standing back at the 32-yard line of the Huskers. Ben Kelly back at the 12-yard line of the Buffaloes. Hayden Feld kicking left to right. Here's the snap. And here is the kick by Hayden Feld into that wind. It's a dandy. Beauty. Kelly is having to retreat inside the five to the three. He eludes a tackler at the five, looking for running room, gets it across the 10, and is spun down at the 17-yard line. And it was Dewan Gross who made a good, quick move down the field to get to him and make the tackle. The Buffaloes have the backfield and the off eye set to the left. They have Javon Green wide to the left. Another wide out, that's Marcus Steger set to the right side. And Mike Machete moves in under center at quarterback. He drops back, looking left, now sends a pass up the near side and over Javon Green, incomplete. I'll tell you what, Warren, Ralph Brown, I just happen to be watching the isolation by this guy right here. Ralph Brown just one-on-one, -on -one, hand to hand with Javon Green coming down right below us. And as soon as he read Green's eyes where that football was coming up, he turned his back and then the ball again thrown a little bit over the head of Javon Green, pass goes incomplete. But Ralph Brown right there in his face the whole way. Cedric Cormier wide to the left. It's a double wide out to the left. Here is a pitch to Cortland Johnson, and he is cut down at the 19-yard line. It was Lauren Kaiser along with free safety Clint Finley who came over there to make the stop. 
the Buffaloes go with twin receivers to the left. Another wide out set right. That's Javon Green. And Machete operates out of the shotgun. The snap back to him. Looking right. Wants to run the quarterback. Draw nothing doing. It was Kyle Vandenbosch who put him to the turf. Kyle Vandenbosch week to week just keeps making the big plays. The big junior out of Larchwood, Iowa. Six foot four, 270 pounds. That time Machete had ideas about trying to run the quarterback draw. But Vandenbosch looping around to the inside and he picks him up and drops him for a loss right in his tracks, fourth down 11. Nick Peach standing back at the two yard line. Joe Walker back deep for the Huskers. Bobby Newcomb back there to join him now. Here's the snap to Peach and here is the kick. Oh, this is a dandy. Walker having to retreat back inside the 35 to the 31, looking for running room. He's not gonna find it. He spun down at about the 32 yard line. Newcomb comes around to the left, and here is a handoff straight ahead, and some yardage. Football is at the 38-yard line, so make it second down and five to go. Davison goes wide to the right. Applegate is set to the left side, and the backfield is stacked in the eye. Here's Crouch running the option left side. He keeps the football, Eric, out across the 40, and down he goes at the 43-yard line. Free safety Rashidi Barnes was over there to make the tackle, and he's going to be close to the first down, but not quite enough. And it is just short by about the nose of the football. Here's third down, and they need about a nose of the football for that first down. They stack the backfield in the I formation. Davidson wide to the left. Applegate is set to the right side. Quarterback sneak by Eric Crouch, and he should have the first down. Flanking wide to the left is Matt Davidson. Bobby Newcomb is set to the right. The backfield is in the eye with Tyrone Euler and Corral Buckhalter. Under center, quarterback Eric Crouch. Newcomb comes around to the left, and he gets the handoff. He's to the 40, 45, and he is forced out. Damon Wheeler forced him out over there at the 47-yard line, a gain of about four yards on the carry. Matt Davidson goes wide to the right side. Backfield is stacked in the eye. Second down and six to go. Here is a handoff to Tyrone Euler, a loose football, and they say Colorado recovers it. Rashidi Barnes comes up with the football for Colorado. Tyrone Euler toss it up at first contact, and Barnes is there to rest it away. Mike Machete brings the offense out. Marcus Stiggers goes wide to the right. Javon Green is set to the left, the backfield in the eye, the handoff to Cortland Johnson. He crashes down to the 44-yard line of Nebraska, a gain of three. Nose tackle Jason Lohr over there to make the tackle for the black shirts. John Minardi goes wide to the right, set to the left side. That's Cedric Cormier, second down and seven. Here's a handoff to Cortland Johnson, and he scoots straight ahead and showed good second effort and gets the ball down to about the 42-yard line, a gain of two on the play. This is going to bring up third and five to go for the Buffaloes. Twin receivers to the left. Cormier is flanked to the right side. Single setback is Cortland Johnson. They send Marcus Stiggers in motion to the right. Here's Machete, looking right, pumps, now a pass, knocked down by Carlos Pope. Oh, he just slapped that ball away to the turf, incomplete. Back in single safety is Keo Craver now for the Huskers, as Nick Peach will stand at the 43-yard line of Colorado to kick it away. Wind seems to be picking up just a little bit now here at Folsom Field. Here's the snap, and here is the kick. Oh, he booms it, end over end. And that's going to hit at the one and roll into the end zone for the automatic touchback. Huskers start from their 20-yard line. They stack the backfield in the I formation. Willie Miller and Dan Alexander back in there. Three wide outs, two set to the right. And Eric Crouch changes the play. He fakes. He rolls to the left side on the option. He keeps the football. And down he goes at the line of scrimmage, the 20-yard line. Colorado just kept stringing it out and stringing it out. And finally over there to make the tackle, inside linebacker Jay Sean Sykes and outside linebacker Fred Jones. Second down and 10 to go for the Huskers. Matt Davidson wide to the right, two tight ends in the game. They roll to the right this time on the option. Eric Crouch with the football, tries to pitch it to Alexander, loses the football, but luckily it rolls out of bounds at the 22-yard line of the Huskers. Tracy Westrom and Sean Applegate deploy wide to the left side. The backfield is stacked in the eye. They've got Alexander the fullback, Newcomb the eye back. He goes in motion to the right. 
Back in the pocket goes Eric Crouch. He eludes one defender out across the 25, out across the 30, 35, 40. He gets to the 50, to the 40. And Crouch is finally going to be caught from behind by Ben Kelly. And he's brought down at the 30-yard line of Colorado. I look at option. Everything was stacked up. He saw it open up behind him. He faked out a couple of guys going right up the middle, and then it was a foot race. But Eric Crouch plays another marvelous Houdini here as he moves the Huskers down into Colorado territory. First down and 10 to go for the Huskers at the Buffalo 30. Wilson Thomas goes wide to the right. Backfield is aligned in the off eye, set to the right side. Here's a handoff. And it goes to Dan Alexander, breaks a tackle, breaks another one, and takes it down to the 21-yard line. It's in about a half yard short of the first down yardage. Great effort by Dan Alexander. Second down and a yard to go. Davidson goes wide to the right. Two tight ends in the game. Wistrom into Bates. Here's the option right side. The pitch to Dan Alexander. He's to the 20, near side 15. And Dan fights his way down to the 14-yard line of Colorado where strong safety Michael Lewis brought him down. Bobby Newcomb goes wide to the left. Set to the right side is Matt Davidson. Two tight ends in the game, Wistrom and Galladay. Alexander is alone, set back. Crouch changes the play. He turns, hands it to Alexander. Oh, ran into his own player and goes down back at the 19-yard line. Now the play got stuffed that time. Justin Bannon down there on defensive line, but nose tackle. Volk and the Hochstein were pulling from the right side, trying to lead the play, the trap play up to the left side, but Bannon just filled it up and forced people down, and that's why the ball carrier that time got knocked down right in his tracks for no game. In fact, it's a loss. Second down and 14 to go for the Huskers. They go with wide outs both ways. Davidson goes to the right. Applegate is set to the left. Alexander, the single setback, two tight ends. Here's Crouch. Looking, looking, lose one defender, Crouch to the 20, and he spun down at the line of scrimmage. The 18 by inside linebacker Jay Sean Sykes. It'll be third down and 14 to go for Nebraska. And uh, Nebraska just going to let time run out in this first quarter, and that's what's going to happen. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. The Huskers 14, Colorado nothing. Big play for Nebraska here. Alexander is the fullback. Bobby Newcomb is the eye back. Twin wideouts to the left and Tracy Wistrom and Sean Applegate. They send Newcomb in motion to the right side. Crouch the snap, turns left, and tries to set up a screen to Newcomb, and he couldn't get to the pass. Incomplete. The ball will be set down at the 24-yard line. That'll make it a 34-yard field goal attempt, pretty much straight on. Seven for eight at this distance. Snap, ball is down, the kick is up. It's got the distance, and it is good! A 34-yard field goal makes it now 17 to nothing in favor of the Huskers over Colorado. Here is Hayden Feld to kick off for the Huskers. Ben Kelly back on the goal line for Colorado. Hayden Feld kicking right to left as we look down on the field, and here is the kick by Dan. Boots it end over end and deep. There won't be any return on that one. He practically kicked it out of the football field. So the Buffalo offense checks into the game as they will start first and 10 from their 20-yard line. Dwayne Charrington is now in the game at running back for Colorado. Three wide outs, two are set to the left. Man in motion to the right is Marcus Stiggers. And Machete falls down as he tried to drop back and goes down with a thud, and they lose a couple of yards as uh, he may have been stepped on by Andre Giraud. Buffaloes go with twin wideouts to the right side. They stack the backfield in the eye. Here is a handoff to the fullback, Andrews, and he fights his way out to the 18-yard line. You know, nose tackle Steve Warren over there to make the tackle for the Huskers. Here's third down and 11 to go for the Buffaloes. Here's Machete looking, sets up a screen to uh -oh. Charrington. He's at the 20, 25, and upended at the 27-yard line. And doing the upending on the play was Carlos Polk and also Ralph Brown had a big stick on that play as well for you, the Huskers. You bet, Warren. Ralph Brown was the man on that play. Again, 1999 All-American, third-team All-American last year. That play had all the earmarkings of going for some good distance, but Ralph Brown somehow sneaks in between everybody and makes a solid one-on-one -on -one open field tackle. And I can't tell you how tough that is. Here comes a fake pass or fake punt. But here's a pass complete out across the 35 to the 40, 45, and out to the 49-yard line as they threw the football to Nate Wright. 
and Colorado fools the Huskers. They do a fake punt, and they get the first down and big yardage. Well, the second trick out of the trick bag for Colorado this afternoon works. They tried that, uh, they tried that kickoff, that uh, onside or shank kick on the kickoff here to open this ball game. That did not work, but here this fake punt does come up, and they catch the Huskers uh, sleeping here on the left side. They get the football just out there short of the 50-yard line. Pressure now on the black shirt defense. Colorado returns with their offensive unit. Cortland Johnson back in the game at running back. Andrews is the fullback in the eye. The handoff to Johnson straight ahead across midfield and down to the 46-yard line of Nebraska. Rover Mike Brown over there to make the tackle. Cedric Cormier goes wide to the left. The Buffaloes have two tight ends in the game, and they stack the backfield in the eye. Here is the pitch to Johnson. Big hole, 45, 40, and skids his way down to the 40-yard line. Free safety, Deion Booker finally made the tackle, but not before he got the first down for Colorado. Marcus Stiggers wide to the right. The handoff to Johnson again, tries the middle, and spins down to the 36-yard line. A gain of three yards on the carry. Right cornerback, Ralph Brown, over there to make the tackle for the Big Red. Colorado now facing second down and seven yards to go. They've also in the past here used uh, the quick count uh, touch up there at the ball where Machete will come up and go off the quick count not give the defense time to adjust. Two tight ends in the game. The backfield on the off line to the right. Machete's going to roll to the right, be in chase, and sends a pass and just throws it away incomplete over the head of fullback David Andrews. Third down, they need seven at the Nebraska 36. The snap to Machete. He's got time, rifles a pass, and a look-in catch by Roman Hollowell, and he's down to the 24-yard line of the Huskers. First down, Colorado. Left cornerback Keo Craver made the stop. First down and 10 to go for the Buffs. They have it spotted at the 23-yard line of the Huskers. Cedric Cormier goes wide to the left, two tight ends in the game. The backfield in the eye, the handoff to Andrews, the fullback. Carries down to the 23-yard line. Second down and seven to go. The Buffaloes with wide outs both ways. The backfield is in the eye. Javon Green goes in motion to the left side. Machete turns, hands it off to Cortland Johnson. Bites his way down to the 20. He's going to be three yards short of the first down. And the stop made by Roverback Mike Brown. So it's going to bring up third down and three to go for the Buffaloes. Three wideouts for the Buffs. Two set to the left side. Third down and three. The handoff goes to Cortland Johnson again. And he's wrestled down near that first down marker. Carlos Polk over there to do the wrestling. And I don't think Colorado got the first down. It's going to be very, very close. If they're going to say it's short, it's going to bring up fourth down. And the Buffaloes are going to go for it here. Von Green goes wide to the left. Another wide out that stiggers to the right. The handoff to the fullback, David Andrews. He barrels his way straight ahead. And I think he's got the first down. Yes, he does. They signal first down and 10 to go, Colorado. Football at the 16-yard line of the Huskers. They go to the shotgun formation, Colorado does. Here's Machete rolling to the right. Now sets up to throw it. Sends a pass into the end zone. Incomplete over the head of Cedric Cormier in the deep right corner of the end zone. So here are the Buffaloes now. Second down and 10. Machete pumps once. Rolling to the left. Tries to set up a screen. Nobody there at the 16-yard line. Incomplete on the play. The Buffaloes go with twin wideouts to the right side. They go with a single setback. Cortland Johnson. Back in the pocket goes Machete. Looks over the middle into the end zone. Incomplete. Keo Craver covering on the play. And it was Javon Green, the intended target. This will be a 33-yard field goal attempt, pretty much straight on. The stamp, the ball down, the kick is on the way. It's got the distance, and it is good. So Colorado gets on the scoreboard. We've got a timeout, 8.28 remaining in the first half. Our score now, Huskers 17, Buffaloes 3. Here's the kick by Aldridge. End over end. Comes to Randy Stella's side, and he fields it five yards deep in the end zone and touches it down. Newcomb will come around in motion to the left. They hand the ball off to, no, they keep it, and the pass intended for Newcomb is incomplete up around the 32-yard line. Davison wide to the left, set to the right side as Applegate, backfield in the straight eye, the handoff to Alexander, over the middle, breaks the tackle, he's to the 30, look out, Alexander, 40, he's to the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, he's gone! Oh, yeah. Guys, 
it couldn't happen to a better guy. That's right. The heart is so lifted right now to watch Dan Alexander come up with his third touchdown here today. And he blasts this one right over the right side over there over Rayola, Hochstein, and Volk. And there was no doubt in my mind, this guy has 4-5 speed, and it's 6 foot tall, 250 pounds. He's running away from guys half his size and a little bit faster. But somehow he gets it done, and boy, what a spirit breaker that must be for the Buffaloes. Josh Brown to try the point after the snap. The ball down, the kick is on the way, and it's good. 8-0-4 remaining in the first half, 24-3 in favor of the Huskers. Here's a kick by Dan Hadenfeld, and here is the kick. He drives it down the field, and that one is, go, is gonna go out of the end zone for the automatic touchback. That touchdown run by Dan Alexander has really quieted the crowd here at Folsom Field. You bet that can take all of the air out of a balloon if you're not careful as Danny Hadenfeld continues to shine, kicking the football here today as he has all year. He kicks another one through the end zone and eliminates Ben Kelly for a return. Prior to today, guys, you have to go back to the fourth game of last year. D'Angelo Evans went 60 yards for a score. Since then, the Huskers have only had two scores on touchdown runs longer than uh, 10 yards. Today, Dan Alexander has a 50-yarder on the opening play, and now that 80-yarder. So the Buffalo set up shop at their 20-yard line. Wide outs both ways. Here is the pitch to Cortland Johnson. Spins away from two defenders, still on his feet, and is crunched down at the 26-yard line. Buffalo send wide outs both directions. They stack the backfield in the eye. Here is a handoff to Andrews, the fullback, and he gets out to the 28-yard line. Gets a couple. Devon Green wide to the right. Here is Machete on a bootleg to the right. He's being chased. He's going to run. He's to the 25, to the 30, 35, and he goes down at the 40-yard line of Colorado. Chris Kelsey made the stop, but that's going to be a first down for CU. One of Nebraska's All-Americans, Mike Brown, in hot pursuit that time. He was trying to get there. He was going about 100 miles an hour, trying to pick up the pace and get to Machete, but he just barely misses the tackle. He threw just a little bit too late, and boom, Machete's off to the races and picks up the first down up uh, close to midfield. First down and 10 to go at the 40-yard line. Wide outs both ways, Hollowell to the left. Javon Green is set the other way. Here's a fake. Machete rifles a pass. And oh, knocked down by Ralph Brown. If he had knocked that pass down, and that would have been caught by Javon Green, that would have been a touchdown. You bet, but that's why he's an All-American also. Our tandem All-Americans this year, Ralph Brown knocking down another pass, breaking up his second pass here on the afternoon. The 12 passes broken up. He is a, the Husker leader as far as passes broken up. He has... 47 his career, 14 is in the season record of 98, and seven his freshman year against this team here in Colorado. Marcus Stiggers wide to the left, the handoff to Johnson again. Over the middle he goes and gets out to the 43-yard line, a gain of three. And already wide to the right, twin receivers to the left. Machete to throw it over the middle he goes, and a catch by Hollowell down to the 37-yard line of Nebraska. Mike Brown covering on the play. Javon Green goes wide to the left along with Marcus Stiggers. Also split left is Cedric Cormier. Three wide outs to the left. Here's the handoff to Johnson again. And he gets down to the 36-yard line. Only a yard on the carry. Twin wide outs to the left side for Colorado. They stack the backfield in the eye with Andrews and Cortland Johnson. The handoff to Johnson. And he is wrestled down at the 35-yard line. Only a yard gain. Those tackle Steve Warren put him to the turf. Two wide outs each way. They go to the shotgun formation. Third down, they need eight. And a bad snap to Machete. He goes back to get it at midfield, gets it on the bounce, comes to the near sideline, and is forced out at the 46-yard line of the Huskers. Oh-ho, and a bad snap by center, Andre Giroud. Nobody back deep for Nebraska whatsoever. Obviously, they suspect something here. Here's the snap back. And here is the kick, a high, booming kick. It was up a mile in the air, hits inside the 10, rolls inside the 5, and is bobbled by a player. Well, let's see, where are they going to spot it? It's going to be a touchback, one. He didn't have control when he went in. Here's a fake. And, oh, straight ahead it goes to the fullback, out to the 26-yard line. 
Second down and four to go for the Huskers. Bobby Newcomb goes wide to the right. Set to the left side is Matt Davidson. The backfield is stacked in the eye. Oh, a bobble by Crouch. He lost the ball, and there's a big scramble for it. Colorado says they've got it. We're still waiting. And no, they say that the Huskers got it. In motion to the left side is Bobby Newcomb. He was the eye back. Here's the option right. Eric going to keep it 25 30. Crash to the 35 to the 40. Lowers his head, takes it out to the 43. Gets the first down and then some for the Huskers. Just some great blocks downfield. Wistrom down there. Galladay down there. Sean Applegate down there. Corral Buckholer was downfield, making a block or two. Excellent work by everybody up front. The right side, Hochstein and Dave Volk and Dominic Rayola just took the middle backer on that play and just ran him to the next county, and the hole was wide. I mean, really wide as the Huskers break it and get set to run. Three wide outs, two set to the left side. Carell Buckholder is the lone setback. Bobby Newcomb starts in motion to the right. Here's a handoff to Buckholder across the 45, and Carell gets out to the 47-yard line. A gain of four yards on the carry. Let's see what they try here. And penalty flags as a Colorado player moved across the line. John uh, Rutherford offsides, Warren over here on the left side. Ball start, offense, five yard penalty, repeat second down. Same formation again. The option left side by Eric Crouch, coming to the near side and is caught from behind. And down he goes at the 42. Defensive end Tyler Brayton reached out and grabbed his jersey and that slowed him down and Crouch went to the turf. Third down and 11 to go for the Huskers. Wide outs both ways. Here is Crouch back to throw. Eric sets, goes down the middle. Newcomb is down there and just can't get it. Ben Kelly almost had the interception down at the 15-yard line, but incomplete. Dan Hadenfeld back to kick it away for the Huskers. Standing at the 29. Ben Kelly, the lone setback for Colorado. Here's a kick by Hadenfeld, booms it. Kelly has to retreat inside the five. He takes it to the four and slips, goes down, gets back up, wasn't touched. Now they're going to rule that he was down at the five-yard line of Colorado. That's all because of who? Who do you think, guys? Randy Stella. Colorado leaving a hole right here. And 42 seconds remaining in the half. They just hand straight ahead to Cortland Johnson, and he carries out to the seven-yard line and then is pushed back by several of the black shirts. Colorado is going to be content just to let time uh -oh. run out in the first half. What a first half it's been for the Huskers. They go to the locker room, leading it 24-3. to Here's the Huskers getting ready to kick off. Dan Hayden felt kicking left to right as we look down on the field and Ben Kelly back on the five yard line of Colorado. Hayden Feld approaches the football third quarter underway and it's a low driving kick. It's going to be fielded by one of the Colorado up man Damon Wheeler. Wheeler looking for running room and is spun down at the 26 yard line. Man in motion to the left side. Here's the option right side by Machete. He pitches the ball off and a loose football, but it does. Oh well, no, they say they got, that Nebraska got it. They did. Cody Ortiz got it. Man alive, what defense have we seen? Cortland Johnson just had no control of that football. It was a bad pitch, and Tony Ortiz was on it. I was afraid first it had gone out of bounds across the way, but the Huskers get it, and what a break for them to start the third quarter. Gary Barnett cannot believe what's happening to his football team right now. And there, Cortland Johnson, the pitch actually a little bit behind him. He could not handle it. They ran motion from the weak side, back stroke side, option back to the weak side. They had a little bit of room, but the bad pitch, and Ortiz comes up with a fumble. So the Huskers start at the Colorado 31-yard line. Here is the option right side by Eric Crouch. He's going to keep it, fakes the pitch, and takes it down to the 28-yard line. It'll be Bobby Newcomb flanking wide to the left. Matt Davidson is set to the right. The backfield is in the eye. The handoff to Alexander, straight up the middle, breaks a tackle, gets it down to the 24-yard line, loses the football. Colorado recovers. Jay Sean Sykes recovered the football for the Buffaloes. The backfield is aligned in the off eye to the right. And we've got penalty flags all over the place. Referees are conferring John Laurie, the referee. Timeout, Colorado, prior to the penalty. Timeout. 
First down and 10 to go for the Buffaloes. Football just shy of their 25-yard line. Here's Machete giving on a delayed handoff to Cortland Johnson. And he's out to the 26-yard line. That's a pickup of about two. Second down and eight to go. Backfield on the off eye to the right. They send Hollowell in motion to the right. Here's Machete faking a handoff, swing and right. Fires a pass, got a man wide open. Hollowell at the 30, 35. And he should have the first down as it's out to the 36-yard line. Man in motion to the left side. And here is a handoff to Cortland Johnson. Slipped on the turf as he tried to make a cut. And he goes down at about the line of scrimmage, the 36-yard line. Twin wideouts to the left side for Colorado. Second down and 10 to go from their 36. Cormier starts in motion to the right, goes back to the left, and the handoff to Cortland Johnson. He spun down at the 37-yard line by middle linebacker Carlos Polk. Twin receivers to the left, another wide out to the right, and the single setback is Cortland Johnson. Straight back goes Machete. Good, pretty good protection. Rushes out of the pocket, 40, 45, and tries for that first down marker. Didn't quite get there. He's marked out just shy of the 45-yard line. Keo Craver goes back in single safety for the Huskers. As Nick Peach preparing to kick it away. Here's the snap, and here is the kick. Oh, it's a dandy, a high-hanging kick. Craver is going to let it bounce at the 10, bounce at the 5, and it's going to be blown dead at the 5-yard line of the Huskers. At the handoff, and uh, it was Willie. Yes. Okay, Willie was the guy. Really, no gain on the play for the Huskers. It'll be second down, and he might have gotten a yard on the play. We'll call it second down and nine. Matt Davison goes wide to the left. Backfield this time is in the eye with Willie Miller and Dan Alexander. Second down. Here's a handoff to Alexander, sweep to the right side, and he is stopped at the five. Good pursuit that time by Colorado. Nose tackle, Justin Bannon over to make the tackle. Bobby Newcomb goes wide to the left. Wilson Thomas is set to the right. The backfield in the eye. Third down and 10 to go for the Huskers. The handoff to Alexander, and he just goes straight up the middle and gets it out to the six. Prior to snap, false start, offense. Ball back at the two and a half yard line of the Huskers. It's going to be third down and 13 to go. Crouch changes the play at the line of scrimmage. He hands the ball off to Willie Miller and he is spun down at the five yard line. Hayden fell right in the back of the end zone. The snap to him and here is the kick. It's a line drive and Kelly's going to let it bounce at the 45 of Colorado inside the 40 and the ball is going to be blown dead at the 36 yard line of Colorado. What a great kick by Dan Haydenfeld. Marcus Diggers goes wide to the right. Javon Green is set to the left side. The backfield in the eye. The handoff to Cortland Johnson and he is down at the line of scrimmage. The 36 yard line. Nothing doing there. Second down and 10 to go. Stiggers wide to the right. Green is set to the left side. Here is Machete looking to throw it. Sends a pass down the left side. He's got Javon Green out there, and he makes the catch. A pretty catch by Javon Green, and he is down at the 34-yard line of the Huskers. Ralph Brown had him covered, too. He did. He, had it. he was all over him, but again, the ball somehow gets through, and uh, a long pass completion. Machete looking off to the right, coming back to the left. And, uh, and again, Ralph Brown there on the coverage. Gary, you had a comment quickly. Crowd was booing on the first play because of the run. That's about the most noise they made since eight-minute mark in the second quarter when Dan Alexander broke the 80-yarder. Two wideouts each way for Colorado. First and ten. Here is Machete rolling around to the right, looking down the field. Can't find anybody now. Just throws it away out of bounds. Aaron Wills oh, was no. all over him. Oh. And there is a late arriving penalty flag. Well, no. And they're gonna call, and they're going to call illegal grounding, I think. Well, it's, I hope so. It is. Intentional grounding on the play. Thank goodness, because Aaron Wills is over there. and I thought initially they are going to call him for some sort of personal foul. Gary Barnett cannot believe himself over there. He's just beside himself trying to figure out why that was called. But again, Aaron Wills, severe pressure on Machete that time. It was bootleg action. He was rolling right. And Will's the only guy out there to pressure him, but everybody covered downfield. 
Football is back to the 40-yard line of the Huskers where it's going to be second down and 15, and with intentionally grounding, that's a loss of down. Marcus Stiggers goes wide to the right. Another wide out to the left side. That's going to be Eric McCready. Here's Machete to throw it. Throws a screen on the right flat and incomplete. It was intended for tailback Cortland Johnson and also a penalty flag. Illegal touching by the offense. Loss of down. Third down. Illegal touching. Offense. Let's see what Colorado tries. They go with a double wide out to the left. Cortland Johnson is a single setback. Machete takes a snap, drops straight back in the pocket, sets, goes long down the field, and incomplete. He had a man open. Cedric Cormier down around the 15-yard line, incomplete. Here is Nick Peach standing at the 45-yard line of Colorado to kick it away. Here's the snap to him, and here is the kick. High hanging kick. Ball's going to hit at the 20-yard line, and it's going to bounce around. And it's going to be dead at about the 15-yard line. Huskers set up at the 15-yard line. First down and 10 to go. Davison wide to the left. Applegate is set to the right. The backfield is aligned in the eye. Here's the option left side by Eric Crouch. He's going to keep it. And he fights his way. Loses the football. But it's going to roll out of bounds, luckily, for the Huskers. Second down and nine to go for the Huskers. Here's Crouch handing the ball to Dan Alexander across the 20 and out to the 22-yard line. That is a gain of six yards on the carry. This time they go to the three-back eye. Two tight ends are in the game. Tracy Wistrom on the left. Aaron Galladay on the right. The middle back. Sean Applegate goes in motion to the right. Here's a handoff to Willie Miller. And, oh, Colorado stacks him up. They lose a couple of yards on the play. Brady McConnell was there along with Andy Peak, the inside linebacker. That's going to bring up fourth down, and the Huskers will have to kick it away. And Dan Alexander's 50-yard run is the fourth time since 1989 that Nebraska has scored on their first offensive play here in Boulder. Hayden Feld standing back of the six-yard line to kick it away. Good snap. And he gets the kick away. Oh, he booms Man. it. That <laughs> ball is sailing back inside the 20. Fielded at the 15 by Ben Kelly. Falls down, gets back up. And they say he is down at the 13-yard line. Buffaloes start from their 13. Here is the handoff to Cortland Johnson, and he is out to the 16-yard line. And the folks here at Folsom Field now starting to get a little uneasy with this football team of theirs. They're down 24-3, 6-23 in the clock running left in the third quarter. You know, Shane Leckler of Texas A&M, because of his average, will probably be the all-Big 12 punter. But if you look at what a punter means to a football team, Dan Hayden felt you can't go wrong. He has shut out. David Allen of Kansas State and Ben Kelly of Colorado has been very quiet here today. Minardi wide to the left. Back in the pocket goes Machete. Eludes one. Husker is in trouble. Penalty flag falls as Machete goes down at the 12-yard line. Holding. Offense. The penalty has declined. Third down. Two wide outs each way for Colorado. They'll operate out of the shotgun. Third down. They need 11. The snap back to Machete. He sets over the middle, incomplete at the 21-yard line. Joe Walker back deep for the Huskers at midfield. Here is the snap. Here is the kick by Peach. End over end, not real good, and it's going to sail out of bounds along the near sideline. That won't make the folks happy here. Let's see where they're going to mark it out, and they're going to mark it out at the 35-yard line of Colorado. Oh, the Huskers take over with great field position. Huskers go to the shotgun, first down and 10 to go. Three wideouts, two set to the left. Here's an inside hand. No, a fake, a keep by Crouch, 30, and he's pulled down from behind at the 25-yard line by inside linebacker Jay Sean Sykes. It's a good thing Sykes made the tackle because Eric had his sights set on that end zone and he was headed that way. Jay Sean Sykes over there again, 10-8 speed. He covers a lot of territory side to side. Their leading tackler on the year also leads in third down stops and also tackles for a loss. But that play, again, the second out of one now, Warren. Backfield is in the eye, wide outs both directions. Here's Crouch this time handing the ball off and getting it is Carell Buckhalter. He's got the first down as he carries down to the 21-yard line of Colorado. Huskers go to the shotgun again. Three wide outs, two set left. The snap back to Eric Crouch. Quarterback draw, 20, and he's down to the 14-yard line. 
just took one step back and then forward he went. And the gain is down to the 14 for a gain of six on the carry. Second down call as they send Newcomb wide to the left and Matt Davidson to the right. Crouch this time. Fakes to the fullback, keeps the football and goes down at the 16 yard line. 324 remaining to be played in the third quarter. Davison goes wide to the left. Applegate is set to the right, and the backfield is stacked in the I formation. Harry Crouch this time. Tries to run the option and goes down again at the 19-yard line. The ball will be placed down at the 27. That'll make it a 37-yard field goal attempt. And he's pretty much got a straight shot at this. Frankie London is the holder. Snap, the ball is down, the kick is on the way, it's got the distance, and it is good! 37-yard field goal by Josh Brown gives the Huskers now a 27-3 lead over Colorado. We have 2.31 remaining in this third quarter. Haydenfeld kicks off. It's taken by Cedric Cormier out across the 30. 35. Cormier is caught from behind and spun down at the 38-yard line by the Huskers. Dewan Gross. Oh, he made a great, great play because Cormier, it was looking like he might go, Adrian. You bet. And you can't let him get out because he also has tremendous speed. 100 meters, 10-2 in the 100 meters. Machete sets the Buffaloes down. Two wideouts each way. Stiggers goes in motion to the right. Here is Machete back, looking, looking, and goes down with the football at the 32-yard line. Making the stop was Jason Lohr for the Huskers. And I, I think and it was... The old Oklahoma tackle there. Yeah, I think it was more of a leg whip than anything. Yeah, it was uh, right below us here. Jason Lohr went after him with the shoes, and he got him. He got the tackle. So the loss is back to the 33-yard line for the Buffaloes. It's going to be second down and 15 yards to go. Javon Green goes wide to the left. Three wide outs are set to the right for Colorado in a single setback. Back in the pocket goes Machete again. Pretty good protection. And penalty flag stopped the play. Five yards. Replay second down. So we have twin wide outs both ways. This time Colorado goes to the shotgun formation. The snap back to Machete. Looking, looking. Sends a pass and a catch. And out of bounds at the 42-yard line goes the receiver, Roman Hollowell. Score Garrett. Wide, so wide outs both ways, and they go to the shotgun formation. Colorado does. The snap back to Machete. The Huskers are coming over the middle, and a catch by Stiggers. He's to the 45 to the 50. 45 40. Stiggers at the 35, and he spun down at the 32 yard line by rush in Aaron Wells. But a big play by Colorado, and the first down as well. He's the guy I talked about earlier in the, in the broadcast. Marcus Stiggers, 4.17 in the 40. And if you get the ball to him and get him out on the open field, that's the kind of thing that can happen. He can just run away from people, and he ran away from Finley, and he ran away from Wills, and he had to slow up to make the cut, and Wills and finally Keo Craver are there to make the tackle. But Stiggers is so dangerous if you get him the football out in the open field. Three wideouts to the left, another wideout to the right for Colorado. Here's Machete this time taking the snap. Two-step drop, a pass to the far side, and a catch made by Eric McCready. And we have a penalty flag on the play. Pass interference, offense, yeah. 15 yards, yeah. replay, first down. So the football back to the 46-yard line where it's first down and 24 for Colorado. Again, three wideouts to the left, another wideout to the right. Back goes Machete in the pocket, over the middle, and had a man open and underthrew him. The intended receiver was John Minardi. Jason Lohr was putting some good pressure that time on the quarterback, Machete, and the pass is underthrown, but the receiver was open. Receiver open, but again, Warren, as you call it, Lohr coming, and Machete could feel that pressure, and Lohr just popped him, took him right to the turf, and the ball was underthrown by about two or three yards right over the middle. 32 seconds to play in the third quarter. Colorado now facing second down and 24. This time the Buffaloes go to the shotgun. Machete is in trouble and goes down at the 48-yard line of Colorado. Julius Jackson undercut him and down went Machete. Julius Jackson picks up his fourth sack of the year. 
So this is going to bring up third down and 30 to go, and time runs out. That's the end of the third quarter. Third quarter score at Folsom Field. Huskers 27, Colorado 3. So it's now Colorado facing third and 30. And let's see what they do here. They go to the shotgun. Machete will roll to the right, sets up, comes down the field, and a nice catch is made by Javon Green. And he's out of bounds at the 32-yard line of Nebraska. Well, they got Aldridge coming yep. out, Warren. Yeah, so they, they do have him in. Down. Ball will be set down at the 39-yard line. It'll be a 49-yard field goal attempt from the near hash mark. Snap, ball is down, kick is up, and it's got the distance, and it is good! 49-yard field goal by Aldridge. That makes the score now. The Huskers 27 and Colorado 6. Here's the kick, and it's high end over end and deep. Randy Stella at the 1. Stella to the 5, to the 10, to the 15. Breaks a tackle out across the 20 and takes it out to the 25-yard line. Nice return by Randy Stella. So the Huskers start from their 24-yard line. I formation, wide outs both ways. Here's Eric Crouch. Faking a handoff, goes long down the field and incomplete. He was trying to get it over the middle to Matt Davidson, incomplete on the play. Bobby Newcomb split wide to the right. Davidson sits to the left. This is the ace offense, single setback, and the handoff to Carell Buckhalter, and he carries the ball out to the 29-yard line of the Huskers. Gary, you got a report for us? Yeah, the wind seems to be swirling right now in the south end zone behind Eric Crouch but it changes and it varies. You look at the flags in this data, I've been looking at them throughout the game, and some of them are, are, are blowing from one direction, some are blowing from another direction, and then your hair is blowing from another direction down in the field. So it's impossible to figure it out. Some punts in the same direction have been knocked down by the wind, others have flown. Third down and five to go for the Huskers. Again, it's the ace offense. Buck Holler is a lone setback. Crouch turns, hands it off to Buck Holler again. Sheds one tackle, crosses the 30, gets it out to the 32. It's not going to be enough for the first down. It's going to bring up fourth down, and the Huskers will have to kick it away to the Buffaloes. Hayden Feld standing at the 18. He'll kick it away to Roman Hollowell, who's back in single safety for Colorado. Here's the snap, and here is the kick. He drills it. Hollowell looks at it at the 17. Fumbles a football, but gets it back at the 17 or 18 yard line of the Buffaloes. Colorado will start first down and 10 to go from their 18 yard line. And they go immediately to the shotgun formation. The snap back to Machete, looking left, now forced to roll right, dumps a pass and a catch is made at the 20 yard line by tight end Daniel Graham. That's the first time they've gone to a tight end today. Mike Brown and Brian Shaw combined to bring him down. Second down and eight yards to go for Colorado. They go to the shotgun. Back in the pocket goes Machete again. Forced and down he goes at the five-yard line. Steve Warren was there to extend his holiday greetings to him. He leads this team in sacks, and he just picked up another one. Steve Warren, another Missouri product, making his presence felt here for Nebraska. And this young man is an All-American candidate making his presence known, as I mentioned a moment ago, and he's, it's just a good example of how you can play and what you can do when you're healthy. Suffered from back trouble last year. Dropped some weight this year. Got himself in pretty good condition. And he's had a banner year for the Huskers. Third down and 22 for the Buffs. Machete hands it off to Cortland Johnson. Big hole across the 10, 15, out across the 20 to the 23. Won't have enough for the first down. Once again, Colorado will have to kick it to the Big Red. Back in punt formation is Nick Peach standing at the eight yard line. Keo Craver back in single safety for Nebraska. Here's the snap, here's the kick by Peach. High kick, Keo at the 40. Looking for running room, not gonna find it. Two Buffaloes are there to put him down tough. But still, the Huskers will start with pretty good field position with 10-17 remaining in the ball game, and the Huskers enjoying a 27-6 lead over the Colorado Buffaloes. They will start from their 43-yard line. Davidson wide to the right, split to the left side is Sean Applegate. Eric Crouch hands the ball off, and it goes to Dan Alexander. And Dan Alexander 
Really doesn't get much on the carry. No gain really on the play. Huskers go to their double wing alignment. Matt Davidson is set to the right side. Crouch rolls inside, shovel pass to Newcomb, bobbles the ball, and then loses the football, and it looks like Colorado is on it. We'll wait and see. And it is Colorado's football. Stakers goes wide to the left side. Javon Green is set the other way for Colorado. They have a single setback. They start from the Huskers, 48-yard line. Stegers comes in motion to the right. Here is an end around, and it's going to go to Stegers. A lose one tackler and dives down to the 40-yard line. That was an eight-yard gain on a little razzle-dazzle play by Colorado. And, and the other thing, Warren, they were trying to do is they were trying to run the option play. Cortland Johnson was out there. He was maintaining a relationship with Stiggers. I've only seen that play run one time prior to this, and that was when Arizona State, uh, SC, SC ran it against Arizona State and ran it for a touchdown two years ago. But Stiggers decides to take it up, take it up inside and try to make yardage second down. Second down and three yards to go. Machete, a fake handoff, looks, sends a pass down the left side, and he's got a receiver, and that's Javon Green, and he's set out of bounds at the 14-yard line of the Huskers. The backfield is in the off eye, set right. Cormier goes in motion to the right. Machete takes a snap, fakes a handoff, rolls to the right, sends a pass into the end zone, touchdown to Minardi. He was a man in motion coming from left to right on the play, and Ralph Brown again, man-to-man -man coverage on him. He stayed with him all the way. And, of course, Minardi, he had the running start, and he broke loose. He got about a four-yard lead on it, and Ralph Brown could not make up the, uh, the yardage, and the Buffs pick up a touchdown. Here's the extra point. The kick is on the way, and it is good by Nick Peach. So we've got a timeout, 8.47 left. The Huskers now lead it, 27 to 13. Jeremy Aldridge now will prepare to kick it away for Colorado. One thing to remember here, they try to drop it in somewhere. You can fair catch a kickoff. Aldridge ready to go. And let's see what they try and do. Now they shift some players over to the far side. And he kicks it away. Stella retreats to the 11. Stella to the 15, not across the 20. 25, 30, and he's wrestled down right at the 30-yard line of the Huskers. Illegal kick formation on the kicking team. Harry Crouch moves in under center. Colorado adjusts its defense. Here's Crouch handing it off to the I back. That's Dan Alexander, and he crushes his way out to the 33-yard line of the Huskers. Two tight ends in the game. Galladay and Westrup. The backfield is in the three-back eye. The middle back Applegate goes in motion to the right. Here's the option right by Eric Crouch. He pitches the ball to Alexander. Dan to the 34-yard line. And he's brought down tough by several Buffaloes. And boy, the momentum has really shifted to Colorado, especially for their defense. Nebraska here, guys, in the second half, they've only picked up one first down, 46 yards of total offense in the second half, and two turnovers. And now they face a third and long. Yeah, this is a big, big play in this football game here. Uh, Nebraska needs to get this first down in a big way as the play has come in. Aaron Galladay has come into the game. Bobby Newcomb in the game, and Matt Davison also on the same side here. Double wide out to the left side, third down. The Huskers need six for the first and ten. The handoff to Alexander, and he is met at the 35-yard line and shoved back. The Huskers are going to have to kick it away to Colorado with 7.07 left in the football game. Dan standing back at the 22-yard line. He'll kick it to Roman Hollowell of the Buffs. Here's the snap to Haydenfeld and the kick. Oh, he oh, boots man. it. That one is going to sail all the way into the end zone. What a great kick by Dan Haydenfeld again. Here's the shotgun rolling to the right side of Machete. A screen pass out to the 15-yard line. It's complete. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 
And Colorado makes a big, big play on that particular gain. We've got a penalty flag, though, over there across the way. A holding call against Colorado, so the play will come back. It'll be first down and 17 for the Buffaloes. Eric McCready goes wide to the right. Three wide outers split to the left side. Man in motion to the right is Hollowell. Back goes Machete, rolling to the right. Looking to throw. Puts a pass up and incomplete at the 40. And really nobody around. So here's Colorado to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 17 to go. They go to the shotgun. Two wide outs each way. Machete the snap. Sets up, looking left, sends a pass. A catch by McCready. He's out across the 20 and out to the 23-yard line. Again, they go to the shotgun formation. Two wide outs each ways. And Aaron Wills breaks across the line of scrimmage. Prior to snap, the defense was in the neutral zone first. Oh. Five yards. Buffaloes are going to go to the shotgun again. Two wide outs each way. Third down, they need three. The snap to Machete. He's going to roll to the right. Sends a pass, it's caught by Hollowell at the 30 and slips and goes down at the 31, but I think he's got the first down. We'll wait and see. Spot of the football war would indicate yes, that he did pick up the first down. They needed to get it right across the 30 and they do. So that penalty is a big, big penalty. Offside penalty, but again, 5 uh, they When they snap this football, we'll be in the four minute range here. So Colorado now, they go back to putting Machete under center. Wide outs both ways, a fake, and a pass down the left side going out there and incomplete. Well, Mike Brown was coming like a guided missile up that right side. And that'll be a first down for Colorado. Two wide outs to the left, another wide out to the right. Back in the pocket goes Machete, looks. Goes with a pass left side, a leaping grab by Javon Green, and Mike Brown knocks him out of bounds across the way. But the catch is made at the 40-yard line of the Huskers. First down and 10 to go for Colorado at the Husker 40. Hollowell wide to the left, another wide out to the right. Backfield on the off eye to the right. Hollowell goes in motion to the right. Here's Machete, fakes a handoff, swings to the right. Looking, pressured, sends a pass, and incomplete at the 31-yard line. It was intended for the tight end, Daniel Graham, and Keo Craver covered on the play. And Brian Shaw was also there on the coverage. Football at the Husker 40. It's second down and 10 to go for the Buffaloes. Three wideouts to the right. Another wideout to the left side. It's the shotgun. Machete the snap, drops straight back. Over the middle, and a pass complete to Minardi. He's at the 25, still on his feet, and drags people to the 22-yard line of the Huskers. Another first down for Colorado. Eric Johnson and Carlos Polk finally put him to the turf, but Colorado now on the prowl again with four and a half minutes left to play in the game. Four wide outs, three set to the right side. It's the shotgun. We're out of time. Top. The play clock has expired. It yep. expired a long time ago. Now they reset it to 25. The snap back to Machete. Looks, looks, dumps a pass. Off of the right flat to Cortland Johnson. He's to the 15, penalty flag 10, 5. He's down to the three-yard line of the Huskers. Let's see what the penalty flag's all about, though. Pass interference, defense, penalties decline. There you heard it from John Lorry. Cormier goes wide to the left. Minardi splits to the right, and now Cormier comes over as a wide out to the right also. Now he goes back in motion to the left. Here's Machete, bootlegging it, and almost tackled. A lose one defender, fires into the end zone. Incomplete to Graham, the tight end. He almost had it. Bandon Bosch on the, on the pressure that time. Julius Jackson, and Jackson's having a tough time getting up off the field right now. Nebraska leads it 27 to 13. 356 remaining in the ball game. Colorado comes out with two tight ends. They send a man in motion to the right. Rolling to the right side is Machete being chased. Uncorks a pass into the end zone and a catch made by Graham, the tight end for the touchdown. It's an unbelievable play because Brian Shaw was coming on the blitz and he was right in the face of Mike Machete. 
I mean right at his face and Brian Shaw grabbed a hold of him and Machete let it go into the end zone and Graham somehow was there and made the catch for the touchdown. And to try the point after will be Jeremy Aldridge and I think Machete's hurt. And, yeah, he they, was holding his hand going off the field. So Aldridge in to try the point after. This is a big one here. Snap, ball down, kick on the way, and it is good. 3.51 left to play. 27 to 20 in favor of the Huskers over Colorado. Well, Jeremy Aldridge is lining up with a hash mark here, and he looks like he's just going to go straight on side here this time. We'll see if they can execute it. He's got to go 10 yards, remember. And here is the kick. It bounces off a Husker player to the 45-yard line. They say the Huskers, no, they say that Colorado got the ball. Well, it bounced off Mike Green, and then they signal the official was an error, Warren. Yes. He signaled that Nebraska had the football, but it was Colorado all the way. It was a line drive kick by Aldrich that bounced off of Mike Brown, and Colorado recovers the football. And they just had to do a quick tape job on Mike Machete's right shoulder to get him off the bench and get back in there as the quarterback. So Colorado has the football at the 44-yard line, their own. 3.48 to go, and they're down by a touchdown. Some high drama here in this one. I want to tell you what. Machete comes out with some tape on that right elbow. They go to the shotgun right away. The snap to Machete. Back he goes. Good protection now eludes a Husker. Goes to the 45, to the 50, 45, 40, 35, and he spun out of bounds. Let's see what a mark him out. He's out at the 34-yard line of the Huskers. Colorado with a first down at the 34-yard line of the Huskers. They go with wide outs both ways. This time they stack the backfield in the I formation. The snap. Machete hands it off to Johnson, running room to the 30, 25, 20, and he's wrestled down by Mike Brown at the 17. That's another first down for Colorado with 3.33 remaining. In motion to the left is Cormier. The snap, snap to Machete, penalty flag falls. He sends a pass and incomplete. Under through it. Minardi was the target down around the seven yard line. Illegal motion, five yard penalty, first down and 15. Buffs go with three wide outs, two are set to the right side. Portland Johnson, the lone setback. Machete back in the pocket, good protection, sends a pass towards the end zone and a touchdown for Colorado. The Buffaloes get the touchdown, it was Eric McCready who caught that ball. Or check it, Javon Green. It was Javon Green who made that catch. Theo Craver was on the coverage. Javon Green running a corner post routes towards a small pylon. And what Machete does is he throws the football for that deep right-hand corner, that orange pylon, right in that area. And the ball just fluttered on down, nose down. Tremendous throw. Jeremy Aldridge with the point after it is up, and it is good. And with 2.59 still to go, we're all even at 27, the Huskers and the Buffaloes. Huskers have their regular kickoff team in the ballgame right now. They don't have the hands up front as we, as we talked about before as Aldridge lines it up. And here is the kick by Aldridge. Boots it high, end over end, and it is deep in the end zone. Stella's going to touch it down. Let's see how the Huskers react here. They go to the ace offense. Wide outs both ways. Davis into the left. Applegate to the right. Alexander the lone setback. Two tight ends. The handoff. Fakes. Here is Crouch and rifles a pass and a catch made by Tracy Wistrom. 
out to the 32-yard line, and that's a first down for the Huskers. Great play action that time by Eric Crouch. Good faking up front. Good holding by the blocks, uh, by the lineman up there for the blocks. And then Tracy goes down about 11 yards. Just enough for that first down. Squares it off into the middle, and Eric rifled it right into his midsection. So a big first down for Nebraska. 2.41 left to go in the game. They go to the three-back eye. Two tight ends in the game. Galladay and Westrom. Crouch this time, fakes a handoff, drops back again, sends one down the field, going for Wistrom out there and couldn't get it to him. Incomplete on the play. Michael Lewis, the strong safety, covered him well on that attempt. Thomas and Newcomb wide to the right, Davidson split to the left, and Eric Crouch will go to the shotgun. The snap back to Crouch, going to run the quarterback, draw 30, and he's put down at the 34-yard line by the Buffaloes. Newcomb and Davison go wide to the right. The backfield and the off eye align to the right side. Crouch under center, third down, the Huskers need eight. Eric rolls to the right, looking right, fires a pass and couldn't get it to Davison. Incomplete. And Kelly is back in single safety for Colorado. Here's the snap. Here's the kick. It's a driving kick off to the left. It's going to hit inside the 10-yard wow. line. Wow. And it's going to go out at the 5-yard line of Colorado. What a break for the Huskers. There's your MVP Three. of this game Mendes. right there, number you 17. Betcha. Colorado starts from their 5. Stiggers wide to the left. Backfield in the eye. Machete to throw it. Launches one. Left side. And it's over everybody. Incomplete. They tried to get it to Marcus Stiggers, and Ralph Brown covered over there on the play. Just a little rainbow pass out there. Trying to get uh, Stiggers to run under it, but Brown step for step with him on the route. And again, Stiggers is a guy who can fly. As I mentioned him earlier in this broadcast, 4.17 speed in the 40-yard dash. As it'll be second down now for Colorado. And you would think if Nebraska was able to stop Colorado on second down, that Nebraska might burn one of their timeouts. Out come the Buffaloes. Vermeer wide to the right, another wide out to the left. Here's Machete giving on a handoff to Johnson, breaking tackles across the 10 and dragging people with him. Nebraska got the ball, I think, Warren. A loose football, and the Huskers get it. They ripped it right out of his hands. Keo Craver, I believe, or Mike Brown. Was it Mike Brown? Mike Brown ripped it right out of his hands and right into the arms of Keo Craver. Oh, what a oh, break for man. Nebraska with a minute 49 to go. Cartland Johnson had the first down picked up for the for the Buffs, and Mike Brown just rips it right out, and Craver is there. So uh, the Huskers a golden opportunity here. They've got plenty of time, 149 left. That Nebraska offense out on the field, and here we go. Backfield is in the eye. Davison split wide to the left. Two tight ends in the game. Wistrom and Galladay. Eric Crouch runs the option left side and pitches it to Alex, and he fumbles the ball. It's loose. Colorado, I think, has got it. Yes. Unbelievable. First down and 10 to go for the Buffs. They have it at their 15-yard line. They stack the backfield in the eye. Here's Machete giving to Cortland Johnson. 15, 20, 25, 30. Johnson to the 35, far side 40. He's out to the 42-yard line of Colorado. First down yardage and then some. Colorado over the football. They go with three wide outs to the right, another wide out to the left side, and they'll go to the shotgun formation. The snap back to Machete. Looking, sets, launches a pass down the field. Nobody there but a couple of Huskers, Ralph Brown and Clint Finley. He really overshot his target. Wide outs both ways for Colorado. They go to the shotgun. The snap back to Machete. Looks, sends a pass, and a catch made by Minority. He breaks a tackle. He's at the 25 in Nebraska. And down to the 22-yard line of the Huskers. Can you believe that? And I want to tell you what, Minardi was su as surprised to catch that football as anybody in this stadium was to see it happen. He was running the route. The ball was thrown to the inside. He was moving to the outside. And then he just turned his head around, and there was the football, and he makes a fingertip grab on the pattern. 
and they get it down. Now they're down to the 22-yard line of Nebraska. Backfield in the eye for the Buffaloes. Machete just hands it off to Dwayne Charrington, and he takes it down to the 20-yard line. The clock winding down with 34 seconds to go. Stiggers goes wide to the left side. The backfield is in the eye. The handoff again to Charrington inside the 20. Takes it down to the 17 right in the middle of the field. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three. And they're going to stop the clock with, well, one. And they finally stop it with one second remaining. There's one tick on the clock left. And all eyes are on Buffalo place kicker Jeremy Aldrich. As he will attempt to hit the winning field goal for Colorado. It's a 34-yard field goal attempt straight on. Here we go. The snap, the ball is down, the kick is long enough, and it is no good! Oh, man! It's no good, and we've got overtime! Stiggers goes wide to the left side. The backfield is in the eye for Colorado. They start from the 25-yard line of the Huskers. Stiggers goes in motion to the right. Machete takes a snap. Pitches it to Cortland Johnson, looking for running room. Fights his way to the 20 and gets down to the 18-yard line of the Huskers. Second down for Colorado. At the 18-yard line of the Huskers. The handoff to Johnson again, and he cracks down to the 16. A yard away from the first down. Stiggers goes wide to the right. Two tight ends in the game, the backfield in the eye. Stiggers goes in motion to the left. And here is a handoff to Andrews, the fullback, and he hits down to the 15-yard line. A lot of activity in the pile right now, but it's going to be fourth down. It's going to be a 33-yard field goal attempt, pretty much straight on by Jeremy Aldrich. Snap, ball is down. The kick is long enough, and it is good. So Aldrich hits the field goal. Colorado leads it, 30-27. to And now it's the Huskers' turn from the 25. And here they come. Out come the Huskers. This is also part of the reason they have this thing in the, in the U here, the noise factor. Listen to it. Double wide out to the right. Willie Miller and Dan Alexander aligned in the eye. Here's Crouch. Roland looking to throw it. Pumps once, now goes twice, make, gets it to Davison, and Matt is down at about the 21-yard line of Colorado. Davidson goes wide to the right. Backfield is in the off eye to of the left. Two tight ends in the game. Debates and Galladay. Here is the handoff to Alexander, and he gets down to the 18-yard line. The Huskers need to get to the 15 for the first down. Third down and three for the Huskers. Out they come. Davidson goes wide to the right. They stack the backfield in the eye. Here's Crouch handing the ball off to Willie Miller, and he's got the first down, down to the 12-yard line of Colorado. And what tremendous blocks over there on the left side by Adam Jolch and James Sherman. Boy, oh boy, I want to tell you what. Clearing the way along with Dominic Rayola, they just surged ahead and got Miller the room he needed to pick up that first down. So the Huskers first and 10 at the 12-yard line of Colorado. The Buffs lead in OT, 30 to 27. Wide outs both ways. The backfield is in the I formation. Eric Crouch hands the ball off to Alexander. Sheds tackles. He's to the five. Go fighting down to the one yard line. First down and goal to go. Dan Alexander getting great yardage on the ground. Next play, same story. Jolch, Sherman, Rayola on the blocks over there. Alexander, again, using that tremendous strength. He was just a half a yard from going in the end zone. It's another first down for the Huskers. So they got it four tries here to get a touchdown. 
They line up in the three-back eye with two tight ends. Crouch, a quarterback sneak, hits down near the goal line. He's in! Yeah, he's in! Flag, though, penalty flag. Is there a flag or no? Yes, there's a flag down. Okay, there's a flag down. Okay, there is, okay. Never in doubt. On defense, penalty is declined, the touchdown is good. And the Huskers pull this one out and win it. 33 to 30 in overtime. Well, Ward, I've seen a lot in football, and again, the Huskers in the first half, you'd think, wow, they're gonna just run away with this thing, but all of a sudden, fortunes change in the second half. Colorado comes back, and right now, the Colorado players across the way, a lot of them on the ground, sitting on the ground, on the laying on the ground. Very emotional time over there.